Hello, welcome to Ministry Mondays. It's been a really long time since I was with you all last, um, but I'm just really excited to be back. I've revamped things a little, so let's hop right into it. Um, I want to highlight one verse today. I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. It's Mark, the first chapter in the 13th verse. He was in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beast, and the angels waited on him. Uh, this scripture was the focal point for a message that I preached during the Lenten season called Where the Wild Things Are. And it seems as if, if not even more relevant for this season that we're currently in. Uh, during Jesus' wilderness experience, he was in isolation. He was cut off from everything and everybody. Jesus was in solitude. And solitude is that state of being where living alone, the absence of human activity, a lonely, unfrequented place. Uh, for many of us, that sounds an awful lot like uh, this quarantine experience. Uh, and it's funny how experience can change your perspective. Uh, if you had asked me what solitude meant uh, a couple of months ago, I may have said tranquility, uh, a day off, some me time. Uh, but today I tell you that solitude can also be chaotic. As a matter of fact, uh, it can be downright disruptive. Uh, being in solitude does not always mean being at peace. Uh, Jesus was in solitude in the wilderness. He was isolated. Uh, but in the midst of that isolation uh, were wild beasts and the devil. And for all intents and purposes, I don't think that the wild things were just living animals. I think that wild things were those things that Jesus had to confront. Uh, so I think the wilderness experience that Jesus had teaches us something about this pandemic that we're currently experiencing. Um, everyone is not thriving at this time. Uh, when the things that normally keep us busy and preoccupied are brought to a halt, uh, we have time to think and overthink and become distressed and depressed. Uh, many of us are being confronted with some truths about ourselves that under normal circumstances we'd be able to to ignore. So I just look at this time as one to confront the wild things in our lives, uh, to do the hard work of self-evaluation and talk to the Lord about who we really are and who he is calling us to be. Uh, solitude is not always peaceful, but it can and should be purposeful. Um, and that's all that I have for you today. I just like to keep it short and sweet and as always, end with prayer. Dear Lord, we come before you thankful and grateful for another day of life, Lord God, not taking for granted that precious gift. We just ask that you be with us during this wilderness experience, Lord God, during this season of solitude, Lord God. It might not be peaceful. It may be downright painful for some, Lord God, but let it not be without purpose, Lord. Give us what we need to make it through, Lord God. Reveal to us what you want us to know, Lord God, what you want us to do, the steps you require us to take, Lord God, and open our ears that we may hear, Lord God, that we may be receptive. Open our hearts and our minds, Lord God, so that we can come out of this thing better than we were when we went into it, Lord God. Let us confront the wild things in our lives, those things that need to be tamed, Lord God, those need, things that need to be changed, those things that need to be eradicated, and take on all the habits and the characteristics and the traits, Lord God, that we will need outside of this season. Prepare us, Lord God, for whatever it is that lies ahead. These and all of the blessings we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you have any questions or um, topics that you'd like me to cover, you can email me at ministry.mondays at gmail.com. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next week for another Ministry Mondays. God bless.